Welcome back to the Pop Culture Discussion. I'm your host, Robert, and today we are reviewing Shazam! Fury of the Gods. After a barrier between worlds is broken, the daughters of Atlas return to Earth to hunt down and destroy Earth's champions. It's up to Shazam and his super-powered family to stop the sisters once and for all. Zachary Levi continues to be charismatically fantastic in this role. He is perfectly cast and I absolutely loved him in the first movie and he's just as fantastic here. A problem that I had with the first film is that I personally feel like we got too much Billy and not enough Shazam and I feel like this movie absolutely fixes that problem. We get Shazam for about 80 to 90% of the film. He is barely Billy. Given that the previous film was the first movie and he was getting his powers, it makes sense that we're getting more Billy there. But yeah, I am extremely happy to say we get way more Shazam here than we do Billy, and that immediately fixed that problem for me. The fun family dynamic remains to be center stage in this film, just like the previous one, but this time round it's not only for our heroes, but for our villains as well. With the Daughters of Atlas being quite divided amongst themselves with how they want to go about fighting Shazam and his family, and with taking over the world. Most of the references and comedy lands really good here. There was quite a few laugh out loud moments and a whole heap of chuckles. Sure, there is still a whole heap of childish humour in this movie, and personally none of it landed for me, it just came across really cringe. Luckily most of it is just coming from the side characters, but Zachary Levi himself as Shazam is hilarious. I would say almost all of his jokes landed. The scaled up action has some extremely impressive CGI here. There's some awesome powers and they get super creative with all the supernatural elements. There's one character in particular, her power, it's very similar to one of Doctor Strange's powers where he can like move reality around but her power in particular is that she can like teleport characters but instead of moving them she's moving the scenery around them and the CGI used for her abilities is really impressive and makes for some awesome action sequences. The magical side of the DC Universe really gets to shine here. We get some really fun concepts that feel like they're ripped straight out of Harry Potter, and we get some really cool superhero concepts. So kind of combining those fun magical elements with the superhero shenanigans, it all blends together really well to create some awesome action sequences. The ending was extremely unexpected, and there are two in particular big twists that kind of happen. I feel like those two parts of the ending in particular are definitely going to surprise people, and I can't believe they pulled it off, they actually pulled it off really well. As fun as this movie is, it's definitely got some flaws, and the first act is kind of slow and just kind of weird to the point where I feel like they were reintroducing basically all of the main characters, kind of assuming that no one watched the first Shazam movie, and I was like, okay, I feel like most people have that are going to be watching this movie, so but I feel like there was just some unnecessary world building, and because of that, the main story doesn't really kick off until the second act. The villains' motives are super inconsistent. It seems that like certain villains have definite goals in mind, and then it just comes to a certain scene and they completely change their mind, and switch over to something completely different, which is like super out of left field. And there's also some super convenient plot armor for our heroes here. There's a couple of scenes in particular where certain characters absolutely should have died and they just don't because another character decides to use a different move on them and because of that, that character survives and just makes for some really silly and lazy writing in certain scenes. And speaking of silly, there's a segment near the end of the movie that's very similar to Black Adam. In Black Adam, basically all these skeletons attack the city and the people decide to fight back and they're like an equal match to these skeletons. Well, there's kind of a very similar scene here in this movie. It's not as bad as Black Adam, but I was kind of hoping they'd do something different, which I felt like would have been a lot more entertaining, but they decided to go with this certain idea that was extremely childish and I don't know, some kids might find that scene really fun to watch, but as an adult I just found it really cheesy and just cringe if anything. 
Speaking of childish though, the childish scenes really clash with the darker and more serious scenes in this movie. This was the same issue that the first Shazam movie had with basically that movie being pretty child friendly until the office massacre that was just absolutely not for children and basically a horror sequence. Well, this movie is very similar. This movie opens up with a really dark and violent sequence that I was like, oh, okay, this movie might be a bit darker and more mature, but then it's followed up by all this childish dialogue and just silly sequences that I'm like, oh, okay, no, it's for kids. But then there'd be like a really violent scene again and I'm like, oh, okay, no, this is not for kids. I have no idea which demographic this movie is aimed for. It's kind of all over the place. I feel like they really should have just leaned into one or the other and just made it really fun and silly and just aimed it for kids and pulled out all the dark horror elements or they should have just embraced how violent some of these scenes are instead of having absolutely zero blood in them they could have just made it way more brutal and taken out some of the sillier elements and just made this a much more mature viewing so yeah with all that mixed writing and elements the tone is just all over the place personally i had more fun with the first movie with the comedy and the heart landing better but when it comes to a grander scale, harder hitting action and creative supernatural elements, this movie is definitely an improvement on the last. Depending on what you're going into this movie for, you might enjoy it more than the first, or like myself, you might have more fun with the previous one. This is still a really entertaining DC movie, but with the tone just being all over the place, it's an eight out of 10 for me. Have you seen Shazam! Fury of the Gods? What did you think? Did you enjoy the first one better like myself? Or was this one just an improvement overall for you? If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, a subscribe to the channel would be a huge help for me. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video.